friends. Are you ready for another devotion? This one is fun. It's called A Good Mystery. Do you guys like reading a mystery? Yeah? Our family loves reading mystery stories. All the Sherlock Holmes, right? Agatha Christie. They're all fun things you'll read as you get older. Sometimes, though, like Magic Treehouse has a bunch of mysteries. Those are fun to read, too. All right, let's see. A Good Mystery. No, we declare God's wisdom a mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. So before time began, God was already working things out for us? He was. Whew. Sometimes it's hard to understand. God is so big. We all like a good mystery. We like shows where the adventurous kids discover a map and figure out the clues and find the buried treasure. Do you guys like that? Yeah? I was talking to some kids on Let's Talk Tuesday uh, just last week and they were telling me how they were figuring out codes by shapes and letters. Do you guys do those puzzles and see what it is? Yeah? Those are fun. We like when a cereal box has a secret code on the back, a code we can crack while we're munching on our sugary flakes in the morning. You're lucky if you get sugary flakes in the morning, but <laughs> find mysteries in lots of places. God says that he has mysteries for us too. Things we find out once we know him. Oh, there, that makes a difference, doesn't it? The more we get to know him, that's how we figure out the mysteries. Ding, ding, ding. All right. The Bible says that the spirit of God searches out the deep things of God mysteries and treasures all from God's heart. The wonderful thing is that the Spirit of God lives inside of us when we give our lives to God. That means the more we get to know God by reading his Bible and, sp and spending time with him, the more we'll know about the mysteries, such as what is true wisdom and how he works in miraculous ways, right? you guys read the Bible to like know some of those um, miracles that he's done? We've talked about those a little bit. We might be talking about those after Christmas too. All right, but to know more about God, you start to see the mysteries. The Bible helps unfold some of those. It helps us to see what's truth. Though we can never understand everything about God, God will open our minds to amazing things that are way better than any secret message on a cereal box or a buried treasure in the woods. Now, I love a good mystery. I love a scavenger hunt. I love figuring out codes too, but the Bible has even more things to figure out, all right? More things to look inside and say, what does God mean by that? Can we find God's wisdom, all right? The older we get, the more we need to search for God's wisdom, all right? Because we're not always gonna have somebody there to tell us what to do, right? You guys are getting older now. Think about when I make a decision, is that what God would have me do? What does his wisdom tell me to do? What are things that are right and wrong that he tells me what to do? Find the mysteries that are on the heart of God. And how do we get closer to the heart of God? Spend some time. The more time we spend with him, the closer we get to him, the more we'll understand his heart, his love, and his wisdom. All right? You guys ready to find some mysteries in the Bible? find some of the beautiful miracles that he's done for us. All right, I think you guys can. Lord Jesus, we love you. We thank you for how many mysteries are in our world and um, the fun it is trying to figure out a, a secret code or find um, treasure or uh, just see the beauty in some of the things you've done. Just the mystery of how things are created, Lord. It's so fun to see you. I thank you for science that helps us see some of these things and proves you more and more each day. But Lord, most of all, help us to seek your heart and help us to seek your wisdom as we learn more and more by reading your word and spending more time with you. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, go read the word of God.